In this video, you'll see how to get started with Amazon Managed Streaming for Apache Kafka, or MSK. You'll learn how to provision an MSK cluster, create a Kafka topic, and produce and consume messages from the cluster. To demonstrate the solution, we will create a simple MSK cluster with three brokers in three availability zones. We will also create an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2, instance that will allow us to send commands to our MSK cluster, and to produce and consume data from the cluster. The MSK cluster and EC2 instance will be hosted within the same virtual private cloud, or VPC, on AWS. Amazon MSK is a fully managed service that enables you to build and run applications that use Apache Kafka to process streaming data. To begin, let's take a quick look at the developer guide. The developer guide, which can be found on the AWS website, provides a high-level view of MSK. We encourage you to refer to it for any help you might need. Let's return to the MSK console to create a simple cluster. We'll use the custom creation method so that we can specify all the details of the cluster. Let's name our cluster. For the purposes of this example, we'll create a provisioned cluster. This will allow us to specify the number of brokers and the amount of storage per broker. We'll select a broker that makes sense for a test workload rather than a production workload. Let's reduce the storage volume to 100 gigabytes. We'll retain the default configuration and continue. Let's select a VPC that has already been created. We'll need to select the same VPC later on when we create the EC2 instance to host our producers and consumers. Let's specify the zones and subnets. We need three zones and subnets because we selected a cluster that has three availability zones. We'll create a security group to assign. Let's enter a name and description for the group. We'll connect to the VPC we chose earlier. We'll retain the default settings for now, but we'll return once the cluster is created. Now that the security group has been created, let's connect it to the MSK cluster. Now we can remove the default security group. We'll turn on plain text traffic and retain the rest of the security settings. We'll retain the default monitoring and tag settings as well. Let's review our settings and create the cluster. The cluster is still being created and should take about 15 minutes to complete. In the meantime, let's navigate to EC2 and launch an EC2 instance. This instance will serve as a client machine that we'll use to create a topic that produces and consumes data. Let's give it a name. We'll create a new key pair for the instance. Let's edit the network settings. Once again, we'll select the same VPC that the MSK cluster is in. Let's enter a name and description for the group. We'll need an inbound rule that will allow us to connect to our EC2 instance using SSH from the AWS CLI. We already have a rule by default, so let's go ahead and launch the instance. The instance is launched. Let's go back to MSK. Let's wait for our MSK cluster to finish creating. Our MSK cluster has launched. Let's take a look at the metrics. There isn't much here yet, but as we use the MSK cluster, more data will populate. In the Properties tab, let's find the security group and point it toward the EC2 instance we just created. Here's the EC2 instance we launched. 
Next, we'll attach an AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role to the EC2 instance. For the purposes of this example, an IAM role has already been created for this instance. Let's attach it. Our MSK cluster and EC2 instance are both ready. Let's connect them. We'll use the AWS CLI to confirm the connection. As you can see, we are now connected to the EC2 instance as expected. Here are all the commands that we'll use in the CLI. First, let's use this command to install Java. We'll confirm that we want to continue with the installation. Java has been installed. Next, let's run the command to install Kafka. Kafka is installed. We can now create our first topic. First, we need to copy our Bootstrap server's plain text. Now we can paste the plain text where we need it in each of these commands. Now that the plain text has been inserted into all the commands, let's paste them into the CLI. First, we'll create a topic. Next, we'll generate a list of our topics. Next, we'll create a producer to produce data to our topic. Before we run this command, we'll duplicate this screen so we can see both the producer's and the consumer's views. The producer's screen is on the left. We'll enter the last command, and when we input information, both CLI instances should reflect it. We've put data in as the producer. Now we'll run a command allowing our consumer to see that data. We can now see the data. Any information input from the producer will now be reflected in the consumer's CLI. You've just seen how to get started with Amazon MSK. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.